What's up you guys it's Deepo and today I'm going to show you how to create this text masking effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new. And then you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows. Width is around 3840 pixels, height is around 2160 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on create. Now we need to bring in a model image into this document. So for that go to file and then select the option as place embedded. After that you can select any model image of your choice. Download link for the image I'm choosing is in the description below and then select the option as place. And then you need to scale that image and place it properly so let me just do that. So once your image looks proper after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now the next thing we will be doing is separating out the model from the background so for that select quick selection tool and then using the quick selection tool you need to make the selection of the model as follows. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. Now let me just make the selection. So now as you can see our selection is ready but as you can see near the edges of the hair our selection is not proper and we need to refine it so for that select the option as select and mask and then select the option as refine edge brush tool now using the refine edge brush tool you need to hover over the edges as follows. So now the selection around the hairs is looking proper. Also I forgot to mention one thing that I have a white background over here because my view is set to on white and then my opacity is also set to 100%. Now the next thing I would like to do is increase the smoothness of this selection so let me just do that. You can set it accordingly it's not a compulsion step for you. So once you have set the smoothness of the selection after that you can click on ok. So now once you have the selection after that you can click on add layer mask icon which will keep the contents which is inside of the selection and then hide the rest of the things. So now as you can see we have separated out the model in the image and the background is no more visible. Now the next thing we need to do is type in our text so for that select vertical type tool and then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop the link for that is in the description as well. And then set any appropriate size for your text. I'm setting it to 160 point. And then set the foreground color as black or any color of your choice which will be the color of our text anyways it won't matter since we are going to change it later on and then click on ok. After that click on toggle character panel icon and then set the spacing between the characters as minus 200 and then let me just close this pop up by clicking on the cross icon. Now you can click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. After that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it and then using move tool you can place the text as follows. So now this is looking proper now the next thing we need to do is add a stroke around text so for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as stroke. After that you can set the size of the stroke as 25 pixels, position as outside, blend mode as normal, opacity as 100%, set the fill type as color and then click on the color icon and then set the color as white and then click on ok. After that you can click on ok. So now the next thing we will be doing is removing all the portions of the model which is to the left of the text so for that make the model image layer active by clicking on it and then we need to place this model image layer inside of a group so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus g which will create a group and then place this model image layer inside of it. Now let me just minimize that group and then click on add layer mask icon which will create a mask for the group. Now the reason for which we are creating a group and adding a mask to it is that we don't want to disturb the original mask of the model image layer. In case we do something wrong we won't have to start from scratch. After that select brush tool and then select the brush as hard round. After that set the opacity and the flow to 100% and then set the foreground color as black and then click on ok. Now using the brush tool you can hover over the parts which you want to remove. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. So now as you can see now it is looking proper now the next thing we need to do is fill this text with that of the model image so for that make the model image layer which is inside of the group active by clicking on it and then create a duplicate of it by pressing ctrl or command on mac plus j and then we need to drag that duplicate layer at the top 
After that, right click on the mask of the duplicate image layer and then select the option as disable layer mask. And then you need to right click on the image layer and then select the option as create clipping mask. So now as you can see now the text has been filled with that of the model image. Now if you want to change the color of the background over here then all you need to do is make the background layer active by clicking on it and then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color and then you can select any color of your choice and then click on ok. After that we need to change the color of the stroke as well so for that double click on the stroke option which will again give you a pop up and then click on the color icon. Now using the picker tool you need to select the background color and then click on ok. After that you can click on ok. So now as you can see we have changed the color over here. Now again if you want to change the background color then all you need to do is double click on the color icon. After that you can select any color of your choice and then you need to change the color of the stroke as well. Now let me just click on cancel since I don't want to change the color. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to create the text masking effect in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.